we're getting an extremely late start. It's about 7.15 now. We're just heading off to the area now. This is one of the local parks in the Maribyrnong area. Kind of beautiful around here. Each night will be fairly quiet because it is a Tuesday. So there's not going to be that many people sort of um, hanging out near the spot because it's a bit of a weekend spot where people hang out and talk in cars and stuff. So I'm hoping that won't happen too much tonight. So if you can see there, this is basically the Maribyrnong River. It's like a huge stretch of river that um, sort of goes through all of Victoria. And it's extremely popular um, because there's a bike path. So there's a lot of families that walk up and down. The spot I'm going to is a car park at the end. So I have a feeling not too many people are going to be walking up there, hopefully. We'll see. So we're losing light pretty quick here. Been a nice mix of protein blocks, uh, mushrooms, onions, and capsicums. Chuck it in. I would like to cook in the car, but unfortunately there's no ventilation yet. A nice little spice mix here. It's just stock, salt, pepper, and garlic and onion, I think. I'll let that cook away there, and uh, yeah, we'll have a look at a bit of the area. It's getting a bit dark now, um, but we'll just bump up the exposure and see, see what it's like around here. I am parked all the way over there. Main concern for tonight is some of these facing houses here, um, but the van's blacked out pretty nicely, so I don't think we'll have any issues there. I've also strategically parked like this, so the sliding door faces this way, where there are no houses. And then of course the houses are all up there looking down, so if I need to exit out the back or the side, I should be fine. And this is actually a flight path for a lot of planes. Let's see how it is going. I think it's safe to say I'll definitely be eating this in the car. It's getting very dark out here and I don't want to sort of hang around and look suspicious, even though I've got the camera so people can, you know, they're probably thinking, oh, it's a photographer or something, which is good, but when I'm talking to the camera like this, it's <laughs> uh, not so inconspicuous. So we'll let that cook up and then we'll head back in and I'll probably give you a tour as well. So this is inside the van. I'll give you a bit of a view. So this is sort of facing towards the door and then this way. And then, this way. Yes, I think this turned out really nicely. It's just like pretty basic. It's got the old protein blocks in there, capsicum, tomato, onion, and the seasoning, pretty damn good. So this little masterpiece here is actually a mattress that my girlfriend helped me cut into three. So at the end of the night, when I'm ready to go to sleep, I can just fold that out and it's like, it's really thick. It's like that thick. You probably can't tell much that, how thick that is, but yeah, it's really, really comfortable. 
So this fold-up table here, I actually made fairly cheaply. This was just uh, like a, a picnic table from Kmart and then from the hardware store two foldable brackets and just a leg which I put on a hinge so it can just fold away up there and kind of get out of the way. I'm going to go on the outside and see how much light is leaking in through these gaps here if there is any at all. I'm hoping that there's zero light leak because that gives me like way more of a chance to be not found and you know kicked out. Honestly I don't think I see one bit of light leak at all. Not even coming through the cabin. The only sort of giveaway is the um the condensation build up but <laughs> what can you do? You can't do anything until I put a fan in the thing. So far, so good. I'm gonna make sure I put these somewhere quickly accessible where I won't forget them because I don't want to be locked out. I don't know about you but there's something oddly satisfying about chilling out in a car and just watching Netflix. I don't know, it just seems kind of cool to me. Getting kind of hungry now so I'm thinking I might pop up to the shop and get some dessert, probably like chocolate cake or something. I'm really hoping by the time I get back here, someone doesn't take this spot because this is like probably the best spot in terms of being out of sight of those houses if I want to get in and out of the car. But I don't think I'll have much of an issue anyway because I do have more of like a work, a work type of um, van. So I think in that regard, I should be fairly okay. The good thing about where I'm parked is the walking path here. That doesn't go all the way to where I'm parked. It sort of cuts off early. So people generally won't be walking up that far unless they live there. It's about nine o'clock now. So it's fairly like people will probably like really winding down and maybe watching TV or maybe even in bed if they got to get up early. A successful chocolate cake mission just came back. Had to sit in the car a bit uh, when I got here because there was some people pulled up here talking so I didn't want to look suspicious so I sort of just hung around for a little bit and then they took off. I want to see how easy it is to set the mattress up with the table still there. Not the easiest, but I mean, it's a tiny car, so it will do. Actually, there is one thing I want to try. More of like a lounge setup, like a, a day bed setup. Might be a bit awkward here. That's good. Yeah, so I guess I'll finish up a couple of Seinfeld episodes and hit the hay. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Nine thirty. Oh, a bit late. I had a pretty good sleep last night, actually. Um, a lot of coming and going from a couple of people but other than that after about 3 a.m. I think nothing really so successful I opted for the freeze-dried coffee I didn't really usually drink freeze-dried but I didn't really want to bring extra plungers or 
uh, those espresso sort of makers so I thought you know what let's get a good premium freeze-dried coffee and see how that goes and it's actually not bad like in terms of coffee it actually tastes really good it's safe to say that was a fairly successful run if you like this sort of content uh, don't be afraid to subscribe I'm going to try and put out a lot more and there's a couple of links in the description of where you can support me if you're into that um, okay guys until next time I'll see you later Thank you.